All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honors and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Savior whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahav Akar Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is, excuse me, Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, and who I reverence and honors the apostles that are in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days all right this lesson is going to be based on seeking staying focused on the kingdom of heaven seek the kingdom of heaven first okay let's go to Matthew 6 and we're going to jump straight to verse 25 therefore I say unto you take no thought for your life all right does that mean you act completely carnal right and you don't do anything at all and you you just say I always say you're an Israelite monk no when it says take no thought for your life what does that require faith because you know Yahweh has you covered you're serving him you're fine right what you shall eat or what you shall drink because the scriptures give us this day our daily our daily bread right or what you shall drink nor yet for your body or what you shall put on is not life more than meat and body more than raiment all you need is a couple pair of shoes right okay they're all out here today bro it's a constant thing this is this is what happens when you actually have the spirit of Yahweh Shai okay bear me just a minute let's stay on topic anyway they're just trying to distract that's all it is distractions and it says What you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body or what you shall put on, because the Lord Yahweh has you covered. You only need a couple pair of jeans, couple pair of trainers, couple couple jackets, and that's it. It's not the life more than meat than the body more than raiment. Yes, it is, because man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of his mouth. Behold, the fowls of the earth, for they sow not, neither do they reap. Speaking about the birds, and there's a load of birds around there. <laughs> okay nor gather into bars yet your heavenly father feedeth them are you not much more better than they and here it is your serving Yahweh Shai and he feeds the birds how much more are you and which of you taking thought could add one cubit to his stature why does it say taking thought because we over sometimes we overthink we overthink things I'm speaking for myself as well how am I going to do this how am I going to deal with that right you thinking can you add one cubit to your stature no I might take thought for the raiment and consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. This is Yahweh speaking. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon, all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Right? King Solomon. And King Solomon was decked out. Okay, but he was not dressed as nice as what the flowers of the field. Right? Wherefore, if the Mosai clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he much more? Shahid not much more clothe you so he's gonna clothe you O ye of little faith this scripture helps with what cares of the world and anxieties of the world okay therefore take no thought saying what shall we eat what shall we drink wherewith shall we be clothed right don't over don't overthink it okay for after these things do the Gentiles seek because the Gentiles they're into what idolatry and anything you put before your house is idolatry for your heavenly father no that you have need of these things but seek first the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness right that's what we've got to seek first first thing on your mind what can I do for your house and all these things shall be added unto you just like it was added unto Solomon what did Solomon pray for huh? for understanding how to guide such a great people and all the riches were added unto Solomon after Take therefore no thought for the mouth, for the mouth shall take thought for the what? For the things of itself sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. We've got to deal with the evil that we have presently, right? we got the now, we're dealing with the now, okay? So we went into that Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. And we're also going to go into, excuse me, just a minute. I just lost my train of thought. Alright, so we've got that. See the Kingdom. Oh, that's it, Peter's. This is Peter's. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, uh, seven. 
It says, casting all your care upon him for he careth for you. We got to cast our cares, your, your anxieties upon Yahweh Shai. Right? The things that bother us, the things that may hinder us in this truth, cast that upon Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because Yahweh Shai knows what we need. Okay? Let's go to Ecclesiastes 31. Watching for riches consumeth the flesh. Right? People, some, you know, a lot of people lose sleep. Because. I can't speak from that man's point of view because some some brothers in this truth they have offspring to look after and more particular bills to pay so they need they may need to work overtime right but my whole thing is well make sure you're putting your habashai first right because when you have a, when you put your habashai first he could sup with you he can make sure things go a bit more a bit more smoother okay and it says for riches consume with the flesh and care thereof drive away sleep you start losing sleep and when you lose sleep you can't really think properly watching care will not let a man slumber as a sore disease break of sleep and the rich have great labor in gathering riches together and when he rests he is filled with delicates and the poor labor in his poor estate and when he leaveth off he is still needy right and he that loveth gold shall not be justified and he that followeth corruption shall not have enough thereof. Gold have been the ruin of many, many people, right? And the destruction was present, right? So gold money has destroyed a lot of our people. You still see that today. Our people taking payoffs and even those that sell out. But those that are sell out, they're more miserable than ever. So the best thing to do is to be in Yahweh and to serve him. And to have this daily bread. Right? It says gold had been the ruin of many and destruction was present. It is a stumbling but come to them that sacrifice unto it. And every fool shall be taken there with. Okay, blessed is the rich that is found without blemish and have not gone after gold. Right? And guess what? Was spiritually, I want to say this, was spiritually rich. Right? Spiritually rich. Scripture says, blessed are those that are poor in spirit. Right? And those that thirst for righteousness. Right, and the scripture says in James, has not um he blessed what the the, the poor of this he suffering with the poor of this world. I can get that. Excuse me, just a minute. See if I can find it. I think it's in James. Right. It's a constant thing. It's a constant process. All right, let's go to James two and five. Hearken, my beloved. Brethren, have not the most high chosen the poor of this world rich in faith? So, yeah, they're poor in this world, but guess what? They're rich in the faith and heirs of the kingdom, keeping heirs, joint rulers, which he had promised them that love him. So, the poor in this world, in other words, we don't have a high place, a high position. Remember what the scripture says the first shall be the first shall be last, and the last shall be first. So, we want to be the last on this side, we are the last. But it says the last shall be first, the first shall be last. So those that were living it up good here now, in this current rulership, they're just going to be last in the kingdom. They're going to be in the kingdom, but it's just they're just going to be last. They're going to be last within the kingdom. Okay. So we went to that. Okay. Is there anything else? Colossians, 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 Colossians. This is one of my favorites as well. Right, this ain't gonna be too long because battery's kind of running. Let's go Colossians 2. Colossians 3. If you didn't be risen with Mashiach, seek those things which are above. Okay. Where Mashiach sit up on the right hand of the most high. Right? So if you're risen with Mashiach, you're, you're in heavenly places. Right? And with you risen, that means you've been what, born again. Okay, seek those things which are above where much sit sitteth on the right hand of the most high. Set your affection on things above, right? Our love on the things above, not on things of the earth. So, we're not supposed to be focusing too much on the things that are upon this earth, right? Because that's what gets in the way. That and them, they're, they're the cares of the world, that they're the things that get in the way of this truth a lot of the time, right? 
Set your affection on things above, not on things of the earth, for you are dead and your life is hid with Mashiach. Right? What does it mean you are dead? No, because we're still alive. We're alive in Mashiach, but we're dead to this world. Okay? That's what it really means to be dead to this world. Right? You can't say you're dead to this world. Right? But you're not you're not really serving your Hawashai. You're lukewarm. Okay? That's why men need to uh, need men need to check themselves. Right? If you're really dead to this world, you'd be serving your Hawashai in fullness. For you are dead and your life is hid with Mashiach. Right? When Mashiach who is our life shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. Right? And that's our expectation. Okay. So with this Lord willing, this was edifying. Okay, just a little exhortation to stay more focused because as we get to the end, there is going to be more distractions. Right? So, with this, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.